Many of us are driven individuals. Um, we may worship God, we may nourish our spirit, but we don't get enough rest, we don't exercise, we haven't thought about nutrition, we haven't thought about the fact that our bodies are the temple of God. When I walked into this building, one of the things that I admired was the order. It was so clean. I mean, you can eat off the floors. Everything was orderly and clean. What about your soul? If you invited God to dine with you, what would your soul look like? Would it be full of clutter? Would, would, would it be full of emotions that is unhealed all over the place? Or would it be nice and clean and ready for Jesus to come in to sup with you? When we talk about our soul, our soul affects what we do with our body. If we don't value our soul, we're not going to value our body. We eat on the run. We promise to exercise tomorrow. <laughs> we never really address our, te address our temple. Your, your temple is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we should glorify God with that. So I'm going to challenge you this week to have a new start. You cannot go back to the beginning of your life, to have a new beginning, but you can start now to have a new ending. So we're not going to ask you to make excuses. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. You ate the hamburgers. You ate the chicken wings. You ate, you ate whatever. So let's just start now and ask you one question. What is your body worth to you? I'm going to tell you something. Your spirit is ready to go to heaven. And your spirit is prepared to live eternally with God. So your spirit is fine. We're getting your soul nice and uh, healthy and prosperous. But what about your body? Your body is the only vehicle you've got to live in time. Your spirit is created, your soul is created to live in eternity. But your body is created to live in time. So think of your body like a car. If you don't put oil in it, you don't put gas in it, you don't put water in it, you don't work on the tires, and then you end up with three flat tires on the side of the road with a busted gasket, with your, 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 your transmission all burnt out, and then you rebuke the devil. I rebuke the devil. When in fact, God has given us laws for a healthy body. He's given us. Let's think about this. People that Go to the doctor, and the doctor says, okay, you are teeter-tattering with diabetes, or you got high blood pressure. What does he say? Lay off the salt. Lay off the fat. You know, lay off the sugar. And so why wait for uh, the doctor to tell you when we know these are contributors? My mother used to say an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. And so let's just start right where you are. Let's start right where you are.